Dr. Emery Adamez here joining us. We will start with questions on Recording Zoom. Recording in progress. So if you have a question, uh, please raise your hand. And Jacob, you can kick it off. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, hi, Bethany and Emery. Thanks for taking the time to chat with us. Um, just both of you, uh, your thoughts on the match uh, today. I mean, we lost, so it sucks. Um, we're just having trouble getting points on the road right now, and that's very frustrating. I think I was really proud of how we came back. We put two more goals in the back of the net. One, fortunately, got called back. Um, so I think our response is good, but we shouldn't let it get to that point. Um, so overall, it's just like very frustrating and deflating, but um, if I know anything about this group, it's that we're resilient. And so we're definitely excited to get back home um, and play in front of our fans again and have a little bit of advantage there. Um, okay. Yeah, I was just gonna say like, it's definitely hard for me to see my teammates like give everything and it's still not come with the result, but just knowing us, like we're gonna bounce back, like it'll be fine. All right, thank you both. Thanks, Jacob. Uh, Nico, go ahead. Yeah, talking about that goal that was taken back, right? looking at the touchlines, Coach Laura Harvey was pretty visibly upset that it wasn't put to VAR, but could you give like a player, your players' thoughts on that call not being reviewed by a VAR on field? I mean, we were told she was onside, and that's just the nature of the game. You can't rely on refs are human, they make mistakes, VAR isn't perfect, we know that full well. Um, sometimes VAR is great, sometimes it sucks. So um, it's just unfortunate that it cost us a point here um, and hopefully that'll be reviewed and the rest will get better because of it. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks Nico. Bella? Um, hey guys, thanks for your time. Um, for you Bethany, I, um, I don't know mental health has been a big focus for you, especially um, with all your posts on social media lately. Um, and I'm just wondering if you can sort of share with us some insight into um, how you and, and some of your teammates uh, mentally go about handling this loss and, and the, the string of losses that I know is not the, the standard that you guys hold yourself to. Yeah, as I said, it's deflating. And to Em's point, I think what sucks is when you are giving everything and it's still not enough. Um, I don't handle losses well. I hate losing. It's the worst. And... It just sucks when you can't win. Everyone loves to win. And so I think there's a lot to learn from losses, and we can dwell on that for the next 24 hours, but we got to get right back to work because we know how crazy this league can be, um, and we know how many points it takes to win the Shield, and that's what we're after. And so each game is just a stepping point to that. If we were playing our best right now, we'd be concerned. So um, I think we just need to take everything we can from these games and move forward. Um, the mental toughness of this team is is great. Um, we got great leaders, and I think um, we just need to keep carrying this team forward. Um, and everyone just lean into their roles and lean into this tough because that's the only way we'll get through it. And if I could ask one follow up, Ryan, um, just in terms of you know, obviously loss is not what you want, but what are you know some positives that that come to mind coming out of this game? Obviously, Emery had an amazing performance off the bench. Are there um, is there anything else that sort of sticks out to you as things you can hold on to? Um, I mean, I think like our first goal, uh, we talked about at halftime, it was from great build up play. I think when we're good, we're really good. And um, that can be seen on our field and it was seen through our first goal today. That was, it was an own goal, but it was created off really good football. Um, so that's definitely a positive. I think, as you said, like the subs coming off the bench really gave us um, a good impact that we needed. Um, and like I said, the response to we could have put our heads down. We went down 2-1, um, but we didn't. Um, same thing when it was 3-2, um, but we didn't. Just unfortunate we couldn't walk away with points. Thank you. Thanks, Bella. Steven, go ahead. Okay, I want to follow up a little bit on um, kind of what you were just talking about. It felt like maybe for the first 25 minutes, the team was struggling a little bit, but particularly in the final third to kind of get things going. And then you kind of grew into the game more and more as it progressed. I wonder if you could talk a little bit about what you think um, were some of the keys to that struggle and what changed to kind of get you guys going better. Well, I mean, I think it's been, what, two weeks since we've played together. People are coming back from international break, so it's just a little rusty, I think, to start. Um, kind of shaken off the dust. So I think that's why it maybe wasn't as clean and what we wanted. But yeah, I think as the game goes on, you obviously grow into it. 
Um, there were definitely opportunities in that first 20 that I know I should have put away and things like that. So um, it's, it's definitely about how you start. Um, we always talk about setting the tempo right away. Um, and we, we did with the goal, but unfortunately we weren't able to um, continue that through the 90 plus however many. Thanks, Steven. Nico? Uh, yeah, it's for Emery. Could you talk about how you've been growing as a young player coming on for the team uh, since, since signing for the first team? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, I think I've really enjoyed getting just the few minutes, and I really just try to make as much impact as I can. But I think it's really good for me that I do have to show up every day at practice and earn my spot. Like, it's not just a given from what I'm used to, like, just at club level. So I think that'll really make me grow as a player. Thank you. Thanks, Nico. All right, that'll be it for questions. Thanks, Bethany. Thanks, Emery.